Let's see if it shoot. Uh oh. That ain't good. What's going on everybody? If y'all been following along watching the deer hunting videos and whatnot, y'all know that I use full size crossbow bolts to uh, hunt with out of these mini crossbows because I need a 14 inch arrow. And it's just hard to buy those for these pistol crossbows. And what I do is I just put it under the retainer clip and it, it don't set all the way up against the string, but I haven't had a problem with that. There's probably about a half inch gap between the string and where the knock is on the arrow because the housing of the trigger assembly just gets in the way. And that hasn't caused me any problems at all, but a lot of y'all have not liked the idea because there's a partial dry fire before the string picks up the, the bolt. But what I've noticed on this, this uh, magazine trigger assembly that William Tell has sent me is the housing's cut back. So theoretically, when I cock this, there's nothing to get in the way of the bolt sitting all the way up against the string. There's two bolts that hold this uh, magazine on top of this trigger assembly. And I'm thinking if I take those two bolts off, we should be able to turn this Picatinny rail around and set it right on top of that trigger assembly and be able to shoot full size crossbow bolts out of these pistol crossbows without there being any partial dry fire. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my optic off this real quick and then I'm gonna show you how to break this down. We're gonna see if it works. All right, so to get that magazine off the trigger assembly, you're gonna have to take these two bolts out right here off this Picatinny rail. And then it, you'll be able to get to the two bolts that hold the magazine on there. All right, now you got these two two bolts here and you're gonna have to go through the top like so to get to them and they should just twist right out of there you take those two bolts out and the magazine should lift off the uh, trigger assembly let's see real quick look at that now let's cock it and see what happens look at that there's nothing to get in the way of that arrow uh oh I'm gonna have to put the new fore end back on it but there's still nothing to get in the way of that arrow from going right up against the string so I took the I took the uh, fore end piece off and those bolts they sit just almost up against the string we're talking an eighth of an inch these are full-size crossbow bolts these are cut down from my my big bows I just don't see where that's gonna be enough dry fire to make any difference at all. Now I'm gonna see if I can put this Picatinny rail back on top. Yeah, that's gonna work. It'll screw right into the top of that trigger assembly. But there's only, you can only put one of the two screws in there, but a Picatinny rail only holds your optic anyway, so that's not gonna make much of a difference. I don't know, it still looks like it's gonna work. So, all we're going to have to do is figure out a way to put a retainer clip in there and then we're good to go. Let me get one of my other bows and see if I can find an old retainer clip. Well, I got a retainer clip in there right here. I had to drill another hole in the Picatinny rail, but it's, it's aluminum. I just used a, I used just, you know, impact driver with a little drill bit zipped right through it. So, remember this is not a necessary upgrade. You could shoot full size bolts out of these bows without, without this upgrade. It's just that people wanted the arrows to set all the way up against the string. And there it is. Now let's run over here to a target and see if it'll shoot. That's the real test. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. A tool? Yeah, I want Stay back over here. I'm going to try to shoot this bow. And what if it goes, boom, it doesn't work. I don't have an optic on it, so I'm not going to get real far back because I'm just going to have to aim down. To, let's see if it shoots. Uh-oh. That ain't good.
I bet that broke that bow, didn't it? Ooh, we're hoping this bow still shoots after that. So I went and got one of the regular diameter bolts. We'll see if it we'll see if it still shoots or if the dry fire messed it up. Oh, we're good. Whew. Almost had an epic fail trying to do an upgrade. So maybe this won't work like it's supposed to. Maybe you do need to just do it like I was doing it before. Let me try one more time, make sure that we're still good. Oh, I dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna put it all back together like it's supposed to go. I guess it comes factory that way for a reason. So, all right, we'll continue to tinker with it. And if uh, we come up with a way that you could shoot full-size bolts out of these bolts without that potential dry fire like everybody's afraid of then uh, let me show y'all real quick how I shoot these bolts out of my other bow I don't have a problem with it now, I know this works because like I said I've I've done this several times I've shot two or three deer with these bolts see that partial partial dry fire don't seem to be a problem Maybe it's just the way it's supposed to be. See, that ain't no big deal. That shot all the way through the target. Yeah. All right, we'll keep working on it and uh, we'll catch you next time.